Hi, welcome to Raw Matt. Today I'm doing a series of videos on sets and set notation. Okay, in this video I have three sets. The first one is U, which stands for universe, and what this means is these are the only eight elements we're dealing with. One, two, three, four, W, X, Y, Z. Then we have set A, which has the elements W, X, Y, which is these three elements, and B, which is one, two, three, four, W, X, Y, that's seven elements. The reason I'm numbering these is because each of my questions asks for the number of elements, so it's good to keep track. So we're only dealing with eight elements, that's it. That's our full universe that we're dealing with today. The first thing that we're asked about is the complement. Now there are two ways of doing this. There is a rule that says the number of elements in A, plus the number of elements in its A's complement is equal to the number of elements in the universe. So if I subtract the number of elements of A over, I find out that the number of elements in A's complement is equal to the number of elements in the universe minus the number of elements in A. So I can come here and say eight minus three is equal to five. But sometimes, it's nice to have something a little more tangible. So I could just come in and give A's complement. The complement of A is made up of all the elements in the universe that don't belong in A. Well, A is W, X, Y, so the complement is one, two, three, four, Z. And if I count up the number of elements, I have one, two, three, four, five. I have the same choices with B, because the same rule applies. I can either say eight minus seven is one, or I can note that the complement of B is made up of the elements in the universe that B doesn't have. Well, one, two, three, four, W, X, Y, Z. Okay. Now, when I get to something like this, where I need the complement of A union B, it's much easier to do this with the sets and count than try to do some sort of computation. So A complement, well I just figured that out, 1, 2, 3, 4, Z, union B, well B is 1, 2, 3, 4, W, X, Y, and the union of these is putting it all together, and so if you notice, they both have 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, you don't write the elements twice that appear. We're just listing off elements that happen to be in the universe, and there are not two ones there. One just happens to be in both of these, so we list, laundry list it. It's like the seating chart. We have a W, we have an X, we have a Y, we have a Z. What we really have is the universe. This created the entire universe, which means we have all eight elements. Okay. A intersection B complement. Well, A has the elements W, X, Y. We want the intersection with B complement. Well, B complement is right here, it's Z. Intersection means we're looking for the elements that are, that are the same. Well, there are no elements that are the same. I can write that as a set of curly brackets with nothing in it, or, not both, I could write it as a circle with a slash. Both of these represent the empty set. The empty set is one of the only sets we call by name. And the empty set has zero elements in it. Okay, so my next one, there's two more on this page, is a bit longer. So it has A complement, intersection B, intersection A complement, union B complement. Okay, so there's a lot going on there. So let's start with, and I'm gonna do the work down here. A complement intersection B. Well, A complement we calculated to be one, two, three, four, Z up above. And we want the intersection of that with B. Well, B up above is one, two, three, four, W, X, Y. Again, I'm just pulling these from what we calculated up here. We have our A complement here, we have our B here. So I'm just pulling it from what we have above. The intersection is what they have in common. So they both have a one, they both have a two, they both have a three, they both have a four. One, two, three, four. Okay. 
All right, so now we need A complement union B complement. Well, A complement is still one, two, three, four. And we want the union of that with B complement. B complement is Z. So that's going to be, union means putting it all together. One, two, three, four, Z. So when we put this together, we have one, two, three, four, Z. And intersection says, what do these two sets have in common? Well, they have in common one, two, three, four. So they have one, two, three, four. They have four elements in common. So this looks pretty overwhelming. There's a lot of union and intersection and complements. But if you just do it step by step, it is not too bad. Now this last one is kind of fun. The union is everything. So the complement of everything is nothing. So if the union has eight elements, the complement has zero elements. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.